need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My well, man, smooth at smoothtickets.com. He got them tickets. I'm telling you, boxing, baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you, smoothtickets.com. Once again, that's smooth. Tickets.com or give them a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell them, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, SmoothTickets.com. That's SmoothTickets.com. Yeah! The Sleeper Pick. The guy only you believe in. In one-week fantasy football on DraftKings... He can be the difference. So trust your gut. Trust your numbers. Trust your Uncle Vito if you want. But know this. That sleeper is out there. The question is, who's going to play him? This is DraftKings. Welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. FootballSportsApp.com. What is it? It's the first live action mobile sports app played in real time and a cool way to emerge yourself in the game. Make coaching calls just like the pros. Check out the video. Download for free this fall and register now again at footballsportsapp.com. Want to be part of this new exciting technology and make money? Fill out the short form at the bottom of the website and mention TDSS again. FootballSportsApp.com. Yes, sir. B I G P O P P A. No info for the D E A. Federal agents mad because I'm flagrant. Tap myself. I'm a fan. Hi. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show. All right, so if you turn the radio down for a couple of minutes when we talked about power, um, I'm going to warn you not to go into the chat room. <laughs> Yeah, you might not need to go into the chat room if you don't want to, you know, hear the spoiler from uh, Power last night, man. But incredible episode of Power last night. Yeah. The Doug Stewart Show, sponsored by FootballSportsApp.com. FootballSportsApp.com. Check out the video, download for free this fall, and register now again at FootballSportsApp.com. Joining the football Sunday uh, parties. Uh, with the Doug Stewart Show and all of the Stewies coming up in the fall. All right, footballsportsapp.com. Yeah, so uh, a couple little NFL news and notes, preseason football. We had football Friday night and Saturday night as well. We talked about what went down on Thursday night uh, this past Friday, but you had some action on Friday and Saturday night as the NFL gets going. Uh, Jared Goff, the quarterback of the Los Angeles Rams, man, kind of got injured, uh, tweaked the shoulder a little bit um, in their game and their in their uh, game against the Dallas Cowboys, um, twenty-eight to twenty-four, and a victory over the Dallas Cowboys, uh, as well as the other first-round draft pick, the, the second quarterback that went off the board, the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, Carson Wentz. He had a hairline fracture to his ribs, took a big hit. Um, in the game against the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, so he gets injured as well. I, I mentioned this earlier. It's always stupid. It's always silly to me when I hear, you know, people talk about, well, you're a running quarterback and he's going to get hurt and this, that, and the other. Uh, that, that's, that's, I mean, if you talk about quarterbacks that have been injured historically in the NFL, um, because the way the game has been played and you're listening to the Doug Stewart show, usually they're in this magical pocket, the place where, where quarterbacks never get hurt. That's a damn lie. <laughs> right. And I haven't seen any scientific study that the NFL has put together showing running quarterbacks, quarterbacks that run the spread offense and, you know, the rate of injury that they have compared to guys that stay in the pocket. But, I mean, you can name hundreds of quarterbacks that have been injured sitting in the pocket. They can't run to save their life. Dan Marino tore up his damn Achilles standing in the pocket. 
uh, Tom Brady out for the entire year, tore his ACL in the damn pocket, and on and on and on and on again. So that's a false narrative that they throw you out there to kind of like like devalue athletic quarterbacks um, historically in the NFL over the over the years, which is bootleg. And speaking of uh, of injuries, man, the Bills have lost outside linebacker I.K. Incompali to a torn ACL for the year. You know who that name is? You remember that name? That's the guy that punched Geno Smith in the jaw last year. So is this a little bit of karma? Huh? Huh? Is this a little bit of karma for I.K. Incompali? He ends Geno uh, Smith's year and all for all intents and purposes last year. He never gets the starting job back. Still to this year, he doesn't get the starting job back for the for the uh, for the New York New York Football Jets. Uh, Incompali's release signs with the Buffalo Bills. Rex Ryan loves that type of player. And now he's done for the year. Might be a little bit of karma there as well. And the big story from this past weekend, man, was your boy Dak Prescott, quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, looked damn good and starting for the Cowboys. Dak Prescott goes 10 for 12, 139 yards, and two touchdown passes. What? Now listen. Let me temper my comments. Let me temper my comments with, with it's just a preseason game. All right, let me make sure I say that. But that being said, the young man looked impressive playing against starters. Yes, he had a starting offense with him. He started the game, but he played against starting defensive players. And St. Louis has a solid defense over the last couple of years. Or not St. Louis, now L.A., They've had a solid defense over the last couple of years. Give this man his credit. And it's early, so I don't want to go too too much about it and talk too much about it. But, I mean, this man was a fourth-round draft pick. How, based on his production that that he had at at Mississippi State, I don't know how. Oh, well, he didn't have good workouts, this, that, and the other. Okay, well, okay, that's fine. It might come back to bite a lot of people's asses. It might come back to bite a lot of teams' asses that passed on Dak Prescott, man. Good for that young man. He looked poised. He looked poised. He knew where he wanted to go with the football. He made good throws, showed some accuracy. I'm I'm wishing the best for the young man. Plain and simple. From rough buff, Doug, he is just a light-skinned Quincy Carter. Don't say that, bruh. Although, before all of the drug issues, man, I thought Quincy had started his career in Dallas, you know, okay. You know, he had a lot of room to grow, but Quincy wasn't a bum uh, from what I remember when he first got in Dallas and was a starter. So I don't know if you're trying to be uh, supportive or not, <laughs> or not, rough buff with that comment. From uh, Denise Milk and Cookies, I had a Saints jumpsuit when I was in high school. We'll laugh out loud. A Saints jumpsuit? Ooh, I would love to see that, Denise. Yes, sir. Right. I would love to see that. Do you still have it, Denise? From Thorny Switch, Quincy wasn't a bad quarterback. Yeah, from what I remember, Quincy wasn't bad. He just started running in issues with the drugs or whatever. Um, and I don't think that he was, you know, no Joe Montana, you know, early on, but he was a young quarterback. And that's another thing what they do with black quarterbacks is their, their leash is very, very short. So if Quincy Carter, if Dak Prescott, if a lot of these cats don't look like freaking Sammy Ball and Joe Montana and Johnny Unitas early, they yanked, you know, and that's it. They don't get second and third opportunities like a lot of these cats we see in the NFL do, man. And, and until I feel like the playing field is, 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 is level and these cats get the same opportunities just like everybody else, I'm always going to root for the black quarterback man and have success. From 9-0 the wine, all NFL scouts are idiots. That's how. From uh, Champion Rivers, the Neef Saints jumpsuit. Yeah, I would like to see that. See if you can find it in your, in, in your closet, Denise, and pull that out. Throw it on. Mm, I'm pretty sure you've grown up a lot since since – Yes, sir. I mean, we would love that. We would love that. Um, 
from Grego. Nope, maybe Carmo on that dude he swung on this year, but Gino earned that one. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people say Gino earned it. Gino was a a hole in the locker room or whatever. I don't know. I wasn't there. From Clay Blair Gatlin Davis. Black quarterbacks don't have a short lease. It's more of a noose. Yeah, yeah. I'm sad, but true. From Dobby Prescott can play. He used to give Bama fits. Oh, he definitely can play. Like I was shocked that Dak Prescott got drafted where he did. You know? I was shocked at that. I was shocked at Cardell Jones, who looked pretty decent this weekend for the Buffalo Bills as well. Oh, yeah, ball award, man, to uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, ooh, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. But he just got a new big money deal. Somebody will tell me in the chat room I'm drawing a blank for the quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. But Cardell Jones looked pretty decent this weekend as well. So, man, I'm rooting for these young guys, man. From corporate brother, Quincy actually came on the Two Live Stews years ago uh, showing his drug test. He only had a failed weed test. The media started saying everything else. Quincy Carter was a good quarterback. I don't remember the specifics of his drug um, situations. I don't remember the, the, the circumstances per se about them exactly. But, yeah, I do remember – him being on the show and saying to myself, man, it was just some weed. And now in 2016, you know the, the stigma is just much, much less today than it was back when Quincy Carter came out. Like, I don't think it was crack or anything like that or cocaine. I think it was weed. A lot of cats love their weed, man. And I don't understand it. I don't get that. But a lot of these dudes love the weed. They can't stop smoking the weed. I don't get that. But, yeah, it just felt like that Quincy got a real bad rap, man. It just feels like that that, that, like that was the situation. From 334 Bama Boy, and I still can't get over Tim Tebow got drafted in the first round. Tim Tebow got drafted in the first round. Tim Tebow got drafted in the first round. <laughs> And Dak Prescott gets drafted in the fourth round. B.S. Now, Tebow did have a great college career. But that hadn't stopped teams from the past and not drafting a quarterback. You know? Them Detma boys. You know, there's been a lot of guys that put up a lot of big numbers. Any quarterback that you can think of from Hawaii over the last... 20 years, Timmy Chang, <laughs> you remember the great, I think his name was Timmy Chang at Hawaii, he threw for a gazillion yards, they didn't draft his ass in the first round, but they could see that wouldn't translate to the NFL, but you drafted Tim Tebow in the first round, GTFOH, a lot of them, a lot of GTFOHs, Tom and Tell. Time will tell about Dak Prescott. He might have just had a good game. We'll see. All right, back in three minutes, the Doug Stewart Show. Hello, Stu Nation. I am Vince Wright, the Sports Governor. I am the co-host of the Sports and More Show. Make sure you tune in every Friday on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network at 12 noon to check me out and, of course, my co-host, Reggie Lawrence. What's up, everybody? I'm Reggie Lawrence, a.k.a. Dollars and Cents, the other half of the Sports and More Show. But the only difference is I'm much smarter and better looking than my main man, Vince Wright. But like Vince said, make sure you check us out every Friday on the SME Network. Peace. Hey, what's happening, everyone? Vince Wright, the sports governor from Minnesota here. Want to make sure you're listening to Sports Done Right every Wednesday on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Check us out for all the latest sports news and happenings on SME. The number one chief rocket jersey firm. 
lonely.